Now, Enzo Maresca has some clear similarities with Pep Guardiola in that Maresca also in, uh, attempts to play the possession-based position of play football philosophy. Now, this philosophy of football is quite complex. And as we saw with Pep Guardiola at Manchester City, he did not actually manage to be very competitive and very dominant in his first season. This is because Pep Guardiola actually had missed some vital cogs in his system. But this is not uh, the similar case to Enzo Maresca because the majority of players that Chelsea have actually acquired prior to him signing for Chelsea can actually play this system. However, there is one position in Chelsea's team that is actually being problematic. And this is something that also Pep Guardiola faced in his first season at 2016 at Manchester City. Now, when Pep Guardiola came to Manchester City, Joe Hart, a player who had been Manchester City's number one goalkeeper for quite some time, was actually one of the best goalkeepers, short stoppers in the Premier League, but did not cut it out for Pep Guardiola, making Pep Guardiola to go into the market and actually bring Claudio Bravo from Barcelona. Now, the reason why Pep decided to bring Bravo to Manchester City is because of Bravo's passing ability. However, Bravo was quite leaky in, in, as a short stopper and this made Pep Guardiola in the summer of 2017 to actually go and bring in Ederson, a player who actually knows how to play from the back. But before we start our analysis, kindly check out our video sponsor. In sports. Sports with Lime Bats. In the comment section area below, and do not forget to visit Linebet, download the app, check out the site. You'll actually you can actually stake a sl uh, small amount of money and actually reap big. Check out Linebet. The link is in the comment section area. Before we even begin our analysis, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So, the signing of Ederson was very crucial for Pep Guardiola, in that Guardiola could actually have a goalkeeper who would be a danger. Ederson is a goalkeeper who is a threat in the attacking areas, and he is actually a threat from goal. And this is because of Ederson being one of the best ball-playing goalkeepers in Premier League history and in Europe. Ederson's ability to play the ball behind the lines can actually make teams not to press Manchester City aggressively high and his composure under pressure actually even makes him even more deadly, allowing him to play as an extra man for Manchester City, making line-breaking passes. Maresca wants that type of goalkeeper. And at Chelsea, rumors are going that he's actually preferring Sanchez over Petrovic. Petrovic, a player who later on last season was actually Chelsea's number one goalkeeper. So why is Petrovic falling out of favor with Maresca? Petrovic was signed from the MLS with a very small fee. And uh, this season, I believe Petrovic has played well when it comes to his shot stopping. But Maresca's emphasis on a ball playing goalkeeper is something that is actually putting a lot of questions on the future of Petrovic. Petrovic is an excellent shot stopper, though Petrovic has a weakness of claiming crosses and corners. He's a very good penalty shot stopper. He, can, he knows how to stop penalties. He knows how to make simple passes, but he's not a player who can play those passes uh, when he's under immense pressure. Remember, Maresca wants his team to build up from the back invite pressure towards the goal area so that they can be able to create spaces in midfield and higher up the pitch where his more attacking deadly teammates can be able to receive the ball. Having control in the game requires a goalkeeper who just does not hoof the ball long but rather a goalkeeper who is very comfortable to link with his center backs, his full backs and dropping in midfielders. And in this case, Petrovic becomes the first victim of Enzo Maresca's tenure at Chelsea with rumors going that actually Petrovic is about to be sold by Chelsea, a goalkeeper who last season has actually fancied himself 
to try and fight for Chelsea's number one jersey. This season, his future at Chelsea is actually in suspicion, with many reports indicating that he has actually not cut out for Enzo Maresca and that in training, Petrovic has not managed to impress Maresca with his passing. Maresca wants a player who's very composed on the ball. He wants a goalkeeper who's very composed on the ball. Now, will Enzo Maresca utilize uh, Petrovic similar to the way Mikel Arteta utilizes uh, David Rai? Because Rai is also not quite good on the ball, but his excellent shot stopping ability and his dominance in the air actually makes him to be preferred by Arteta. Another thing that you also need to understand is, is the sweeping, sweeping ability. So in this department, Petrovic is better, but the question is, does uh, can his sweeping ability support his lack of ball playing abilities, which is very important for Enzo Maresca's system? That is the question that we continue to ask ourselves, and that is why I believe that Petrovic is more likely to lose his position in the Enzo Maresca Chelsea system. Oh, pardon me for the cold. I'm actually running with a cold, but uh, we'll still continue with the analysis. So, another thing that you need to understand is uh, Sanchez, who was Chelsea's number one uh, goalkeeper, actually made a lot of sloppy passes and actually made a lot of mistakes playing from the back. And this is something that a lot of Chelsea fans are really, really scared when they think about Sanchez. Remember, uh, Brighton manager Roberto Di Zabi actually got rid of Sanchez because of his lack of ability to play from the back. So did Maresca see a miracle in Sanchez during training or what happened? Because now it looks like Maresca actually prefers Robert Sanchez. In my opinion, uh, Sanchez has been quite sloppy on the ball compared to, compared to Petrovic and act actually placed Chelsea in problematic situations when he attempted to play from the back. Now, a player who was actually rumored to be Chelsea's number one goalkeeper. But one thing you have to give it to Sanchez is that he's very good claiming crosses. He's very, uh, very good dominant aerially, claim corners. So against uh, Premier League teams that like to play, to attack through corners and crosses, Sanchez is good. He's also a good shot stopper. We cannot take that away from him. The question with Sanchez is his ball playing ability. And uh, sometimes this actually puts a lot of pressure to, towards the fans. Now, questions have also been asked with about Sanchez's sweeping ability, his ability to actually sweep. And uh, we saw last season when he actually considered a goal through uh, sloppy sweeping. That is, he doesn't know how to calculate when he should step out of his goal line to actually come and try and uh, claim a ball or claim a lofted ball or claim a long pass. But with Petrovic, you did not see these kinds of problems. Now the question is, uh, will Sanchez be able to actually improve his ball playing ability or has he showed that to uh, Enzo Maresca's uh, system? Now, we need to look at Enzo Maresca and understand what he actually requires from his goalkeepers. The thing that he requires from his goalkeepers will actually inform us on how he wants his goalkeepers to play. Now, looking at this uh, short clip here, you can see the role of Enzo Maresca's goalkeeper. He's actually the first attacker in the positional play structure that Enzo Maresca is bringing at Chelsea. Now, the goalkeeper, first of all, should be very good at playing short uh, one meter, two meter passes with the center backs. He should be very fast when playing these balls. Also, another thing that he plays in this position, he should also know when to pick dropping in defensive midfielders or slash holding midfielders. He should also be very comfortable stepping in to play in line with the center back and actually playing as an extra center back during build up, something that we've seen Ederson and Allison do at Liverpool and Manchester City. Now, looking at this clip, you can see is, uh, Maresca's laser. And when you see at Maresca's laser, you can notice what they are actually trying to do when they actually try to play from the back in these kinds of scenarios and situations. Look at the position of the goalkeeper, stepping out, playing almost like a center back, not afraid to actually have the ball at his feet to look and try to draw pressure. If a player decides to come, then space opens up where now Maresca's team can look to proceed forward. 
The goalkeeper should be very comfortable and very ready to receive the ball even in the most tight situations. This is one thing that we saw at Leicester City and is something that Maresca wants to also replicate at Chelsea. He wants a goalkeeper who is very astute, very confident with the ball. A goalkeeper who is not afraid to actually look to play passes, line breaking passes, overhead passes and actually look to find uh, players who are actually covered in another player's cover shadow. Now when you have a goalkeeper who is like this, then automatically you are able to be able to create that controlled structure. Remember, Maresca's system is more emphasizing on control. That is similar to what Guardiola also does at Manchester City. The emphasis on looking to try and dominate possession. And this is aided by having a goalkeeper who can easily read the game, a goalkeeper who understands what is coming, a goalkeeper who is willing to even step forward and play as a sweeper keeper, looking to actually try and progress the ball forward. Now, the question is, should Chelsea uh, actually go to the market to try and get this player? The uh, questions that are, the rumors that are going in training is that uh, Maresca is impressed by Robert Sanchez. But this is a feature that I did not see from Robert Sanchez in his prior times at Chelsea, especially under Maurizio Pochettino. But a goalkeeper who understands how to step out from the back line to actually play from the back. A goalkeeper who is very comfortable to hold on to the ball to invite pressure so that he can create spaces for his other individual players is actually a goalkeeper that majority of Chelsea players will, actu will actually be very comfortable to play with. Centre-backs will be comfortable to pass the ball to him. Full-backs will be comfortable to actually pass the ball back to him. And he should also be an excellent shot stopper because his primary role is actually to keep the ball from entering the back of the net. But if he's so good in holding on to the ball, then this will make Chelsea not lose the ball time and time again, ensuring that Chelsea are quite astute, dominant, and very, very uh, reliable when they are trying to actually build from the back. Maresca's goalkeeper should also be comfortable to make those line-breaking passes that split midfield lines and defense lines of opponents to actually try and get the likes of Cole Palmer and other players such as Jisbury Hall dropping in to try and link up play. He should be very much involved during build-up, should be very much involved looking to try and receive the ball and actually playing somehow like a defensive midfielder. And this raises the question why Chelsea actually want to sign another goalkeeper. And I'm going to give you an example of one goalkeeper who I believe Chelsea should actually go for. I do not trust that Sanchez next season will actually impress Maresca with his ball playing ability and I might actually look to somehow cost Maresca's the ability to actually play his football the way he wants it. And therefore I have a suggestion of a player who I think Chelsea should actually rush to try and get. This player has played for Chelsea before and this player is Marco Bulka. Now, uh, Marco Bulka should have actually been used by Sari rather than Chelsea going in and trying to get Kepa. Bulka would have been a solid fit for Chelsea. Bulka is very composed on the ball. Bulka likes to receive the ball. Bulka can play from the back. Bulka is very tall. He's dominant in the air, something that you need in Premier League, especially a goalkeeper who's very, very physical. Now, Looking at this situation, you understand why Pep Guardiola had to upgrade from Joe Hart to Ederson. Yet Joe Hart was a better shot stopper than Ederson. Another thing that you also understand is that the, you see the problem which uh, Maresca has with Petrovic and Robert Sanchez. Currently, Sanchez is being preferred, but I am not quite sure about Robert Sanchez. My preference should be Chelsea should go in and sign a new goalkeeper and hopefully Marco Bulka can be the player who answers this critical question in the Enzo Maresca system. If you've enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.